Fuck. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, Future. Let's talk about him using a, a new song to throw shade at his ex, Lori Harvey. All right. And, and someone also mentioned in those verses. Well, producer Chris, uh, who else did they talk about? Yes. In the verses. Yes. Who is Lori Harvey spend all of her time with these days? Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Apparently, Future's got a little problem with that. Like you said, nobody's perfect, but Michael B. Jordan's pretty close. And apparently, Future is just throwing insults out left and right. Get over it, man. All right. So in the meantime, a line of Future's new song, it's called Maybox, says, quote, tell Steve Harvey I don't want her. It's, unclu it, it's unclear who exactly Future is referencing, but fans think it's obviously Laurie, his ex. He also apparently calls Jordan, quote, lame in the song. Ooh. Michael B. and Laurie have been officially dating in November, excuse me, they began officially dating in November of last year, roughly three months after Lori Harvey broke up with Future. Future also has some words for Steve Harvey in the song after he came out and said that he was glad that his daughter was finally with someone that he approves of. Richie, I don't know. It seems like just let bygones be bygones. Yeah, I think he just needs to get over and leave this girl alone and let her live her life. She's unbothered, though. <laughs> oh. I, I, so I know maybe I went through this at some point and some other women also have where it might be a little petty. And so you might wonder whether or not your ex is hurting over you having moved on. And it, it's always sometimes great when you find out that, yeah, they are hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Future is a little, wow. little salty about this, and I'm sure Lori is loving it because it's like, man, I, you, I'm still on your mind. You wrote a whole song about me, huh? And Lori's great at this, right? She doesn't dignify it with a response. Nope. It's just the world knows that Future is, is hurting. So this is great. I mean, the girls, we've been rooting for her, and even more so now. So that's look, all I'll say. Uh, look, I'm not, I'm not going to take sides in this dispute, but who among us hasn't wanted to write a couple of lyrics about somebody that you broke up with. If I had the ability to, to put out songs and make music back in the day when, when I was getting dumped by some of these women, don't you think I would drop some bars about them? I absolutely would. In fact, I could drop some bars right now. Go ahead then. But I'm not going to <laughs> because I moved on with my life. Have which, you though? Well, I moved on, which brings us back to what, what Richie and Chris were saying. Just move on. Just move know. on, okay? I don't, I don't okay? Know. You still sound a little hurt about No, I, well, I got some things in my past, but I have moved on. But if I wanted to, I could drop some bars, and y'all would be like, oh. Like, say, let's say something that's right fire. now. Look no, into no, the no, camera. No, no. Say what you got to say. Here's, a, here's what I got to say I don't drop bars for free. Okay. Okay. Ooh. okay. There we yeah. go. But he drops mics. I'll say that much. <laughs> just, All right. just, you know, better be glad that you yeah. take up a collection day. back here, Wisdom. <laughs> All right. Uh, and with that, Richie, <laughs> thank you so much, my friend. Uh, Producer Chris, always appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Um, thank you. Thank you.